Are your parents paying for their children to join a social elite and does this matter? I don't think our parents are choosing to join a social elite at all. I think our parents make significant financial sacrifices to give their children the huge number of opportunities that are available at a school like Bramble Tie. The 40 odd different activities and hobbies, the sport every day, the acting, the drama, the music. Um, that's what they're really paying for. What do your pupils say about you and do you care? Well, believe it or not, headmasters have feelings too. So of course I care uh, what my pupils say about me, um, particularly if it's negative. I hope they would say that I am fair, that I am caring, and that I have a sense of fun and want them to do the very best that they can. How do you react to the wealthy parents offering donations to the development fund before the children have enrolled in the school? Well, I'm always taken aback by how generous uh, parents are, whether it's prospective parents or, or present parents, but I certainly wouldn't allow any donation to our school's development funds to circumnavigate our assessment and entry procedures into the school. How do you define bullying and how do you deal with it? Bullying is behaviour or language which deliberately and repeatedly causes someone else to be unhappy. And I think any school that claims that they are free of bullying are just not fronting up to the truth. So we do our best to create a culture in which pupils feel comfortable to stand up against bullying, to speak out against unpleasant and unkind behaviour. And we have, of course, lots and lots of different uh, levels of pastoral care that identifies uh, unkind behaviour. How do you justify getting paid more than the PM? Well, I have to say that's news to me. I, last time I looked, the Prime Minister is paid considerably more than I am, but I would like to take this opportunity to thank Tatler for bringing this to my attention, and I shall certainly be speaking to my Chair of Governors to ensure that I am, in future, paid more than the Prime Minister. What keeps you awake at night? Well, I tend to sleep very well, but if there's one thing that keeps me awake at night more than anything else, it is this little rascal here. <laughs>